live life wisely. Hello and thank you for tuning in to Heart to Heart. My name is Elaine Enriquez and I really truly enjoy these segments. I get to bring a word of inspiration and we get to see it in the Bible as well. Looking at the social networks in general, there are many situations of people attacking each other. For this reason, I strongly felt the need to bring you this topic that is found in a very special book of the Bible, Proverbs. This book teaches us wisdom that produces living wisely. The Word of God tells us in Proverbs 14 verse 2, He that walketh in his uprighteousness fears the Lord, but he that is perverse in his ways despise him. When you walk in sin, you walk in your own desires and self-satisfaction without really thinking about the delicate consequences that can occur and the damage that you can cause to others, especially those who love you the most. Now, when you walk in the fear of God, you recognize that He knows your steps, your actions, and the decisions made in your daily life. I urge you to become aware of taking good care of yourself, not to walk in sin, but in righteousness, gratitude, and honor. This decision will bring blessings to your life, which will be everlasting. To live life this way is to treasure it, to feel good about yourself and those around you. Take care of your words as well when you speak, because words are like knives that penetrate the soul, emotions, and thoughts when they are discouraging. Let's go to the word in Proverbs 14, verse 3. The mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise shall preserve him. Meditate before taking any steps. Take care of what comes out of your mouth. Living and caring for others will contribute to self-growth in all areas of your life. God loves you. Here at OVM, we share His love with you. I invite you to follow us here on our social media network communities. Subscribe to our YouTube channel in OVM Radio. Now is a good time. You'll be able to enjoy more of our program. If you enjoy these segments where the heart of the Father touches the heart of man, click the bell for more notifications of the segment, Heart to Heart, available to you. If you need us to support you in prayer, we're always available to pray for you, but write to us to the following email, ovmprayforme at gmail.com. Leave us a message to know where you see and hear us. I would love to greet you in the next segment of Heart to Heart. I hope you have a wonderful day Thank you for listening and viewing this segment that we bring to you every week. God bless you. Bye-bye.